All right. Hey, everybody. Uh, I have got something interesting to tell you. I was talking to his sister in Christ on the phone. I, she's actually, I'm still talking to her and she's going to tell you a little bit because uh, something happened that we were really led by the spirit in seeing something. We, we were not looking for anything, but, but the Holy Spirit literally um, showed us something. So we want to show you because um, it's a really, it's definitely a rapture watch right now. We are actually in IR5 uh, in Israel already. It's IR5, which is, of course, the day of Israel's birthday in 1948. And um, we're also going to relate this to a video that we both saw that was struck, struck us very strong. Um, okay, so sister... Um, so basically you can briefly tell them, we're going to keep this short, but, um, what, how this started, you were looking up at the sky. Yes. So I was out on my little patio at home and I was just looking up at the sky and I noticed the, the moon and these two bright stars perfectly straight like a straight line it was like the moon space star space star yeah. perfectly straight and i kept looking and looking and on my spirit i'm like there's something about those stars so then i called yeah. sister Gigi, and i told her and i was looking it up and kind of find out it's pollux and castar which is right in gemini right and i don't know, yes so so and you had said that you felt like almost like there were two stars, like two eyes looking at you. And I went out with the dog and immediately looked up and saw the two stars. And it's it, right, it's just a straight line, two stars, and there's the moon. And neither one of us is really heavily knowledgeable about the constellations and stuff. And Obviously, neither one of us were looking for that. Well, I was looking for it after she told me, but she was just drawn to it by the Holy Spirit, just kept noticing it. And I've had that happen once in a while where something in the sky will just pull my attention. Like, I know God is trying to show me something. So, so what happened after that is... Um, the first thing I thought, this is Gemini, Pollux and Castor. They're called the twins, but before in the beginning, they were called the bride and groom. And I and I also remembered a brother in Christ, Todd, and I don't remember the details, but it, several years ago, I just remember he heard something about Gemini related to the rapture. And I don't know if 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 the moon was in in, in what he saw or not, but... I never forgot it. So I thought of that when I first saw this. And um, Kim, if you're out there, uh, I, I also noticed that tree when I was looking for the moon, um, when I was going through the time zones, uh, you'll know what I mean, that tree right there. Okay, so, so what happened next is, um, we were on the phone still. I'm walking out, walking the dog, and I'm thinking about this whole scene. And suddenly, I just, just flipped out. I'm like, I suddenly realized that what we were seeing, that the Holy Spirit led us to by the Spirit, not looking for it, was totally the very thing that both of us saw in Steve Fletcher's video when he was talking about IR5 and when the real birthday was, was it based on the lunar calendar or the Gregorian? And other people were saying um, May 14th, the constellation was in the same place on the sun was in the same place on May 14th as it will be this May 14th. And then Steve was um, saying that the moon 
on IR5, which is today. See, that's the thing. Today is IR5 right now. And May 7th in a couple hours uh, will be IR5 as well, okay? Because it's already IR5 in, in Israel. So on IR5, this is what he was showing. And I suddenly remembered it. He showed the picture of how the moon was right next to Gemini, right near the left side of Pollock's head right there. And he was saying that it was like this on IR5 in 1948 on Israel's birthday and how it's going to be exactly the same on IR5, which is today on Israel's birthday. And cause I, cause he showed it, he showed it in the, in the video. And I, I suddenly, it flashed back into my mind. I thought, oh my gosh, the Holy Spirit led us to the exact same picture in Steve's video without us looking for anything. And it, it, it was like, I mean, I was just, I was floored because you know, it's when God shows you something, it's different than when you are just sort of intellectually looking for something. So, so I'm thinking, we're thinking this is this, this has got to be a confirmation that this is Israel's true birthday. Um, that sure is what it feels like. And, you know, a sister real quick, tell them how you looked up and you also got 726, which is your rapture numbers. Uh, yeah, we were talking and I said, oh my gosh, so let's see, what time will it, will the sun rise? It, no, what time will the sun set in Israel tomorrow? Well, let me show you right here. 7 to 6 p.m. Are you serious? This is literally the Gematria number for the rapture. Or Strong's. I forget which. I'm sorry. But 726 is like, it's a famous rapture number on YouTube. It is the number for the rapture. In fact, I was watching a video today. And it had to do with the rapture. And I noticed it was seven to six exactly minutes long. And I think it was even had 11, 11 on it somehow. But anyway, um, so, okay. So what we were looking at was just, um, you know, if you go forward in time, several hours, the moon, as we know, is represents the bride of Christ. Okay, so if you go, I'm going to go forward here. Actually, what I'll do is, well, I'll just keep going. Um, the moon is slowly moving over to the cancer, the crab, okay? Let me see here. All right, see? Tomorrow, on the 7th, this is May 7th here, 507, it's in the crab. Of course, the crab is known as the, the shelter, the place of shelter for the, the bride of Christ. Okay? And so, let's say tomorrow's the day God's calling the rapture and starting the... Uh, the seven year, 70th week of Daniel and or the just starting the tribulation or either way, many people had said that the bride of Christ is, will be going into the, the shelter. And this is, this is the shelter uh, during the storm, during the tribulation. So that's interesting. It just goes straight over there and, um, so and is there anything else you want to say before we close it? Dad, I was not looking for any of this, folks. Nothing. It was a typical night. Didn't expect this at all. And yeah. now I'll remind you, earlier today, I had a very horrible spiritual attack. So it was very lethargic. 
until I saw that tonight. Yeah, I know the spiritual attack. Um, actually, that I had people pray for you on YouTube in my other video. Thank you, all you, all family of Christ. Thank you. Yeah, it, you know it is interesting because I, I do believe when when God is trying to say something or do something, um, the people involved there's always a major attack and the attack was really bad what you went through. And yet this, the same day, look at what God is showing you. So this is, this is absolutely amazing. And, um, you know, uh, so thank you. Thank you for, for sharing all that. Uh, just, it blows me away the way, the way you saw Castor and Pollock in the sky before you had any idea what you were even looking at. That is what blows my mind. So, oh, and let's close with this because this was powerful for, we talked on the phone about this. On Steve's video, he was talking about how, um, you know, Israel's 74th birthday is, and I have talked about the four year delay fig tree many times with other things. And I've talked about Lazarus and the four day delay many times. And yet for some reason, I, I didn't even think of this until I heard Steve say it. It was like, like, of course, you know, Israel, the Bible says that, you know, a generation is 70 to 80 years, but 80 only if by reason of strength or, you know, strength. But it's really 70, but it says or and if. Okay, but we know that seven is the number that God uses as that's the number of completion. I mean, he it's a 7,000 year plan that he has. No, um, Israel was in Babylon for 70 years, the Israelites. Um, there's, te you know, seven is the number of completion. So technically, a generation, he said, is 70. What's interesting is that that is, we were expecting the Lord at, at that time to come. And... But what's really amazing is to me that, yes, 74 is like the four-year delay of the fig tree, the fig tree delay, okay? And as that fits perfectly in the timeline, at the same time, we've reached this, um, the Daniel's 70th week is the start of the seven-year tribulation, uh, is about to start and there's exactly seven years left before Israel is going to turn 81. So that matches the fig tree delay of four years, which is amazing to me. And yet I, I feel like it should have been obvious to me, but for some reason it just went right past me. But both of us, we were talking about that on the phone and it was like God really confirmed it. It was it was really strong. So I wanted to yeah. um, I wanted to definitely mention that as well. And so we'll close with that. And uh, thank you again, and thank you all out there, and thank you all the watchmen for for watching and for all the information you give everyone. And God bless everyone out there. And uh, we are really watching the next. 24 hours. Okay. So God bless you. And thanks sister. And, You're welcome. Uh, yeah. God bless you all. All right. So I will close this here. Let me grow. Okay.